Everyone out there, put away the contour sticks because the latest beauty trend is all about natural skin. Mm, yeah. A beauty blogger's photo of her perfect skin has taken over the internet and set a new standard in beauty as commenters are calling it glass skin. One of the most important steps in achieving glass skin is washing your face before bed, but the days of soap and water, some say are long gone. So today, we're going to tell you which cleansing trends are worth the buzz and which ones are a complete bust. So first up is powder cleansers. So powders have been around, they've been in makeup regimens for a very long time, but this is kind of a new twist where sometimes like taken from some Japanese skincare re regimens, they have rice enzyme to brighten your skin. But the idea is you take the powder and you actually will very gradually mix drops of water into it and you use it as an exfoliant and you can kind of tailor it to how foaming or how thick you want to the degree of exfoliation. And they're also getting a lot more pickup in interest because they don't often have preservatives or alcohol mm -hmm. or other ingredients that people don't want. So this would be on yeah. my face theoretically mm -hmm. and you yeah. a little spritzer. Exactly. And then and you, so you and can then you make can... it as dilute yeah, and or I as can... coarse mm -hmm. as you want. And so it's just a natural cleanser and exfoliant. So this one is definitely getting much more buzz. Buzz! Brewski, what do you got going? We have micellar water. Do you, do you know what micellar water is, young man? Well, I know what my cells are, but I do not know what micellar okay, water is. Okay, my that's right. It's my cells. It's balls of, of oil molecules that are suspended in soft water. How did this mm -hmm. concept start? Well, back in the day when plumbing wasn't quite as good as it is now, the water came out very harsh. It was mm -hmm. not good on your face. They discovered this in France, and they came up with this idea of micellar water. So... It's now, it's popular here now, but we don't really have the issue of harsh water like we did years ago, so is this really necessary? I'm not, I'm not gonna drink that water, I can it tell you that. It is the bus. bus. Makes sense. You can save some money if you're gonna spend it more money. It sounds really anything. fancy though. It, it so. sounds fancy, like yeah. oil sp suspended in water. That's kind of an interesting well, idea. Yeah, that that right. it is going to moisturize your skin at the mm -hmm. same uh -huh. time, and I guess yeah. they get the pH right, and it is soft water. So it's nice not gonna hurt you. No, yeah. no, no. It, just, it just may not be worth the cost. All She's right. taking that so home, I'm taking last, this home. Yes. <laughs> but not least. So last but not least is something called face polish. Mm -hmm. And so one thing, especially if you're going for this poor really clear look is exfoliation and dermatologists are sort of obsessed with this idea that you're trying to slough those dry dead skins you're trying to clean out the pores the only difference between a polish is that it's just much finer grains than the old scrubs that tend to be a little bit harsher some of them can feel almost like abrasive when you're putting them exactly. on. exactly so and so would this that. would be a much more gentle way maybe two or three times a week just to really kind of help turn over the skin another route if you don't want something physical like this would be a chemical exfoliant. Those are things like alpha hydroxy acids, like glycolic, lactic, beta hydroxys or salicylic acid. Those are all the chemical exfoliants that help turn over your skin. But we're finding that if you do that a couple times a week, that really helps expedite your cell turnover. It gives you a little bit more glow. This one is definitely a buzz as well. Mm. Yeah,